My name is Clarence Natnor and I'm 22 years old. I live here with my family, there's five of us, and I was the third born. In 2012, I hit my knee on the door. It became very swollen, so we went to the hospital and that's when I found out I was diabetic. I was at the hospital for 10 weeks and I wasn't sure what to think. I didn't want to take notice. I didn't want to feel down. I was young, so I didn't think too much about my sickness. The doctors told me to make changes so I could live a longer life. That included drinking a lot of water and eating the right food. They said not to eat white rice, lollies, tin fish and junk food. I've got to eat a lot of greens and vegetables. It's an expensive diet for the family, so it largely depends on if we have enough money. We have to sell a lot of what we grow so we can afford our basic needs and things for our house. Mum used to work, but she had to stop working to look after Dad. My dad, he also suffered from diabetes. He had his two legs amputated, which were then followed by kidney problems. After his kidney failure, he passed away. We survived by growing our own food in the garden. Some we would eat and some we would sell in the local market. In 2014, I hurt my big toe on my right foot. I got a scratch, became a big sore, and the doctor said the toe had to be amputated. My dad wasn't happy about what the doctor said and took me home. He kept saying that he wanted to treat me with local medicine, the leaves, not Western medicine. The doctor said to come back in three days, but dad took me back after one month. At that point, all my toes were infected and they had to amputate the toes on my right foot. Then last year, my left foot started having problems. In 2017, I accidentally stepped off my bed and onto an insulin needle. It started with an infection on my little toe, then spread to the other toes. After three weeks, I started feeling dizzy. It got worse then, the doctors had to remove the toes on my left foot. Diabetes has also affected my eyesight and I'm short-sighted. When I was in class, I was unable to see the board, so my mum and dad took me for a checkup. The doctor said that the diabetes was the cause. They wanted to treat me with insulin, but my dad didn't want to. He couldn't accept that I would be on insulin for the rest of my life, so he was very upset. 